When a great plot twist hits, there's nothing quite as satisfying. Seeing the narrative pieces fall into place in shocking, unexpected fashion can force the audience to entirely reevaluate the movie they're watching. While filmmakers can certainly try to pull the wool over viewers' eyes, who among us doesn't love a brilliantly engineered twist that's unpredictable while still playing fair with the audience? And because there are just too many damn good plot twists, here's a sequel to our recent piece on the subject. So let's dive in. I'm Adam, this is What Culture, and here are nine more best movie twists you genuinely never saw coming. Number nine. The planet was Earth all along, Planet of the Apes. Much like the crying game, Planet of the Apes plot twist was such a game changer that it spent decades being joked about across pop culture. Yet if taken on its own terms, it's easy to appreciate why. Protagonist George Taylor spends the movie stranded on a planet in the distant future, where apes have evolved into intelligent humanoids, only to make a horrifying discovery in the final scene. George reaches the planet shoreline where he finds the remains of the Statue of Liberty, confirming that this strange planet is actually a future Earth, obliterated beyond recognition by nuclear war. If you saw Planet of the Apes without knowing what was coming, this was an all-timer twist for sure. One that so brilliantly reconfigured the audience's expectation of Alien, while also handing them a savage warning about humanity's instinctual tendency towards self-destruction. Number 8. Pharrell as Yuri, No Way Out No Way Out stars Kevin Costner as US Navy officer Tom Farrell, who has been framed for the murder of his lover Susan Atwell. The actual man responsible, Secretary of Defense David Bryce, takes part in a plan to pin the killing on Farrell, while also claiming him to be a KGB mole codenamed Yuri. At film's end, with Farrell and Bryce both having sensitive information which could implicate one another, Bryce agrees instead to frame his counsel, Scott Pritchard, as both Susan's killer and the mysterious Yuri. But with the matter seemingly resolved, the final scene reveals that Farrell actually was Yuri all along, an ultra deep cover spy raised as American from childhood in order to infiltrate the US. Romancing Susan was an intelligence gathering mission due to her relationship with Bryce, though Farrell slash Yuri did genuinely fall in love with her and seemingly quits the spy game at the very end. This is an outstanding example of a twist that's hidden in plain sight. The bad guys try to frame the hero and it turns out they unintentionally trip over the truth in the process. Number 7. There Was Never an Aaron, Primal Fear Primal Fear's closing reveal is one of those goddamn moments that cements a movie's legacy forevermore. While also securing Ed Norton a well-earned Best Supporting Actor Oscar nomination, the legal thriller follows hotshot defense attorney Martin Vale as he defends a teenage altar boy, Aaron Stampler, accused of murdering an archbishop. We eventually learn that Aaron did kill the archbishop, albeit in revenge of being sexually abused, and moreover, he was also suffering from disassociative identity disorder at the time of the killing, adopting a sadistic alternative personality called Roy. As such, Aaron is found not guilty by reason of insanity and sent to a psych hospital. But during his final meeting with Vale, he reveals that he faked the whole damn thing. Aaron faked his disassociative identity disorder, he cooked it up effectively, allowing himself to get away with murder. And to make matters even worse, when Vale asks him if Roy ever existed, Aaron offers an ice cold reply there was never an Aaron. Aaron had been faking a shy guise for the entire movie, when the more violent, sociopathic Roy was his true persona the entire time. All a shell-shocked Vale can do is leave the courthouse in disbelief, and the audience can certainly relate. Number 6. The Lego Universe is a child's imagination, The Lego Movie The Lego Movie pulled off an incredibly bold and daring twist that could have so easily fallen totally flat. The film was marketed as a purely animated adventure, yet in the third act, Lego Everyman Emmett falls down a portal which leads him to the real world. At this point, The Lego Movie shifts to live action, while revealing that the events of the story so far have been played out by an 8-year-old boy Finn, 
and that the villainous Lord Business is really a parallel of Finn's father, who dislikes his son playing with his precious Lego set. In the wrong hands, this could have been terrible, yet seeing the parallels between the Lego universe and the real world, it ends up feeling like a joyous celebration of creativity and play. That something so imaginative could be rustled up by a kid playing with some colourful plastic bricks. Number 5. The con within the con, The Sting The Sting follows two grifters, Gondorf and Hooker, as they hatch a plan to perform the con of a lifetime on vicious crime boss Doyle Lonergan. The pair's elaborate ruse involves creating a fake betting parlour where Lonergan can be compelled to place a bad bet and lose a massive amount of money. But once the gambit plays out and Lonergan angrily demands his money back, the FBI storms the parlour to arrest Gondorf, while letting Hooker go. An infuriated Gondorf then shoots Hooker before FBI agent Polk shoots Gondorf, at which point Lonergan is escorted from the scene. Once they've gone, however, Gondorf and Hooker reveal they're absolutely fine. The shootings were staged and Agent Polk is actually a con man working with the duo to ensure both Lonergan and the real authorities think the duo are dead. And like that, Lonergan never returns for his money, entirely unaware that he just got robbed by two men he believes are dead. Incredible. Number 4. Vulture is Liz's dad, Spider-Man Homecoming The Marvel Cinematic Universe isn't exactly known for its jaw-dropping plot twists, which is perhaps partly why Spider-Man Homecoming's big reveal managed to catch so many viewers off guard. At the end of the film's second act, Peter Parker is preparing to take Liz to the school homecoming dance, but when he knocks on the front door, he's greeted with none other than the movie's primary villain, Adrian Toomes. Yes, it turns out that Peter's antagonist also happens to be the father of his love interest, a fact which director John Watts managed to brilliantly hide in plain sight. And so when Toomes opens the door and greets Peter, it's a legitimately butt-puckering moment for both Peter and the audience. To date, it remains one of the MCU's best executed plot twists, and much of its success lies in its sheer simplicity. Number 3. Anthony is a hallucination, Dead Man Shoes Shane Meadows' Dead Man's Shoes is a criminally underseen psychological thriller in which a soldier, Richard, returns to his hometown to reckon with a group of drug dealers who have tormented his mentally disabled brother, Anthony. Near the end of the movie, we learn the nauseating truth. Anthony committed suicide following the group's abuse, and Richard has actually been seeing hallucinations of his late brother throughout the movie. It completely changes the temperature of the story and the nature of Richard's revenge spree, ensuring most viewers will want to immediately rewatch the film with this new knowledge that Richard isn't really being accompanied by his brother on his quest. These twists are incredibly tough to pull off in a post-Sixth Sense world. Yet Dead Man's Shoes is a rare example of one that makes it work, even with a few generous clues being dangled in front of us, like Anthony wearing the same clothes in flashbacks. Number 2. K Isn't the Chosen One, Blade Runner 2049 Relatively earlier on in Blade Runner 2049, it seems to be teeing up the inevitable reveal that Replicant K is the child of Deckard and Replicant Rachel. Given the tendency for belated legacy sequels to introduce new heroes with convoluted ties to the original leads, it certainly would have been completely on brand for Hollywood in the 2010s. And so, what a surprise it was when, deep into the movie's third act, K learns that he isn't the child of Deckard and Rachel, completely obliterating the a typical Chosen One arc that had seemingly been carved out for him. Furthermore, the replicant child ends up being an incredibly minor character, Dr. Anna Staline, briefly glimpsed much earlier in the story. Ultimately, Blade Runner 2049 brilliantly bit and switches the audience, leading them to believe a garden variety hero's journey is in the works, only to pull the rug out and give Kay some heroic agency that's very much his own. In the end, being constant K is enough for him. Or as Ryan Gosling's Ken would say, enough. Number 1. Darth Vader is Luke's father, The Empire Strikes Back in terms of mega-budget movies though, no twist is more iconic than Darth Vader revealing himself to be Luke Skywalker's father at the end of The Empire Strikes Back. It was a perfect what the actual f**k revelation on which to conclude the middle chapter of the original Star Wars trilogy, leaving fans with plenty to think about ahead of Return of the Jedi's release, and damn near ensuring they'd be back to see how it all played out. 
Though parentage twists are decidedly more common nowadays, they've never been more earth-shattering than in this movie, creating a devastating link between the hero and villain which went on to define the franchise for four decades. That is, unless you happen to read a 1978 newspaper interview with David Prowse in which he inadvertently spoiled it a whole two years before the movie came out. Thankfully, this being the pre-internet age, his slippery tongue didn't quite have the same reach. And there we have it folks, another list from us of more best movie twists you genuinely never saw coming. But please do remember to let us know down in the comments of your favourite movie twist of all time. And while you're there, make sure you give us a cheeky like and a subscribe. If you want to follow me on socials, I am at Strawn87 on Twitter and on Instagram and on threads. You can come and say hello to me on there. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week and the rest of your month. And until next time, take care.